Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you about the Fogel approximation method with dummy variables. Dummy variables we need to use when supply and demand they are not equal. For example, we have three warehouses. We have four customers. And I'm going to use the following calls. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, eight uh, nine so we can same time do all these lines to make it more comprehensive so each customer has his own demand for example he is 40 he is 40 he is 100 he is 100 and each warehouse his has his own uh, supply. He is 100, he is 100, he is 100. So, we can see that if we calculate demand, we have 280, if we calculate supply, we have 300, we have not the same demand supply, that's why we need dummy variables, dummy variables we can create, so we can edit like here, dummy variable, we can put here 20, our cost is 0, 0, 0. So, now we have to calculate the opportunity cost as the Fogel method tells us. So, first we calculate the, the opportunity cost in the second, in the first row and here is 2, 2 minus 0 is 2, here is going to be 4, here is going to be 1, here is going to be 0, here is going to be 2, He's going to be 2, he's going to be 6, and he's going to be 2. <clears throat> so, this is our, the highest opportunity cost. That's why we have to put here our uh, values. So, we find this one is uh, with the lowest cost, and we put here 40. So, we transport. 40 goods to the second customer from the third warehouse. We don't need to use this customer anymore because this customer is already satisfied. We still here, we still have here 60 supply. Now we have to continue. Here we still have two. Here we still have two. Here we still have. Here we have now four. Here we still have zero. Here we still have two, two and two. And now we have two these. So we use the second row, it doesn't matter. And we use the dummy variable because it has the lowest cost, it's going to be 20. We don't need to use dummy variables anymore because it's already satisfied. And here we still have 80 goods to transport. So now we have to continue. Now we have here 1. Opportunity cost is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Here we still we have one too. Here we have also one. Here we have two. Here we have two. Here we have two. So we can use any of these columns. I'm going to use this one. It's going to be to 40. And we don't need to use this custom anymore because this custom is already satisfied also. And we still have here 60 goods. Now we continue. Now we have here 4, because 2 and 6 is 4. Here we have 4. Here we have 4. So everything is for 2 and 2. Now we use any of these rows. And I'm going to use this row because it has the lowest cost. So I'm going to put here 60. And we can just do this way. So, this customer is not yet satisfied, he is still 40. Now we continue, now we have here 4, still, here we have 4, here we have 1, and here we have 1. We use the same, we use this one, it's going to be 40, so we take this, we can satisfy this one, we still have here 40, now we put here 40, and here we put 60, and everything is already satisfied. Now we have to calculate the total cost, and I'm going to do this. Now we calculate our uh, total cost. 
and total cost is going to be 120 again 120 40 multiplied by 4 it's going to be 160 and 9 multiplied by 3 it's going to be 400 550 and 40 multiplied by 8 is going to be 300 20 and it's going to be 0, 20 my value is 0 is going, it's going to be 0 and in total it's going to be 1660. 1260.